Yo, what up, guys? We're back here for another episode of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated Season 1, Episode 8 The Gap, the Graps of the Gnome. Okay, last episode we had the Hex Girl, the best band, uh, honestly, in the world. They came out with three straight just bangers. Daphne wrote one of them, those trap song. Uh, and then by love, like, I'm no longer, I want to set free. And that's the episode where Fred finally figured out, like, damn, bro, because Daphne got kidnapped again because the trap failed. One in a million, let's be honest here. Fred usually doesn't fail these traps. It's like a one in a ten chance it really happens, but it failed because somebody tampered with it. Yeah, hey, he realized, like, damn, I really do have feelings with Daphne. Okay, finally, I guess. So I don't know what direction they're going to go in because she wrote that song about being free, and now Fred's like, no, I actually do like it. So they're on a tango. Velma was left in the shadow because Scooby and Shaggy were fighting and Shaggy only focused on Scooby to get his redemption. Team Velma. Uh, let's go. Thank you, Scooby. We'd appreciate it. Come on. Some people insist on dressing like pirates at a fair for knights. Because knights are boring. They're so my lord this and my lady that. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see the hype about pirates. They don't take showers. That's first of all. Don't brush their teeth. Dirty as hell. Like, come on, bro. I could knit a sash in the time you're taking. <laughs> We're not being that guy. That guy just ran up the wall, did a somersault, three flips in the air. And... Who is that? To the Royal Knights Fair. Bro, I'm not trusting that guy, that the executioner who dresses up as an executioner, bro. Not to worry about historical inaccuracies. More people, more money. Ow. Quiet, fool. All fair should be kept historically untainted. Well, what in the hell, bro? Why is there uh, some beef between them? Hey, but only if ye be in wench garb and talking all piratey. Yo ho ho! No way I'm putting on those dumb clothes. <laughs> Mambo, Come on, man. Mambo. This night's fair thing some... is awesome. We got to check out Black Plague Village. And it had horrible glowing green hands. Right. <laughs> now did this thing leave a name or? I leave a name. Yeah, bro. Hear ye, hear ye! Get your cotton candy clap. Bro, how does he Just move like his whole building? Used to eat. Uh, what in the hell? Kidding? I thought the gnome would attack me. Best we be to avoid it. What says ye, dog beard? Oh, scary gnomes know more cotton candy clan. I. Please tell me they don't talk like pirates the whole time. So it's touch paralyzed? For some reason, that doesn't seem like a gnome power. Goblin, maybe, or perhaps a sprite. My mom is running the souvenir stand at the ice cream moat. She might know something. Care to come along, peg leg? <laughs> hey, my dog beard and me can always go for ice cream. Is it me or are pirates basically just hobos with earrings? Well, I guess that I knew I like Velma. We in the same goddamn boat, bro. We in the same boat. <laughs> mm, that's like good moat. I'll say. <laughs> hmm? Look at him, Mom. You're quite pleasant when you aren't trying to be smarter than everyone else. But I really care about him. Coming from a mom? No. That's that's too much. Anyway, about your scary gnome. This should help. I'm okay. You're a scary gnome. Read it. God, that queen was a royal jerk. Yeah, I said ahoy ahoy in my pirate voice, and she stared at me like I was wearing a hat made of live mice. The only reason this gnome would get me. Is cause looking looking at it, I'm like, okay, buddy, pack it up. And then I'll swing at it, I'll miss, and then he'll touch me and I'll get paralyzed. That's the only reason I'm losing. These attacks could really wipe out business. <laughs> or not. We'll be fine. Only wretched pirates are being assaulted. It can't be her, bro. The the, the gnome was doing backflips. It's not her. Investigating. For once, Fred, I agree with you. You do? Absolutely. For instance, can it play popular tunes on a bank of horns? So what did you find out from your mom, Velma? There's lots of info on gnomes, but nothing about attacks on pirates. Maybe our gnome dropped this. I found it in the hand of one of the pirate nerds. Way to go, Dad. Okay, why'd you throw nerds in there? 
<laughs> you know something? For the sake of those two, we better hope the whole pirate thing is a coincidence. This guy needs to be stopped. He's doing too much. Just put him in any open chair. We're out of room at the hospital. No admittance. This is a quarantined area. Besides, the movie's already started. You're showing them a movie? We need to get in there and run some tests on those pirates. Arrgh! Like perhaps That's old crazy. dog beard and peg leg shaggy should stay outside and guard the concession stand. You said you loved me. I did. This has to be but illegal in so many levels, bro. With Larry and start a mariachi band. But Larry is a schnauzer. Shaggy and I have been seeing each other. I knew it. Oh, Velma, I'm so happy for you. It's not good. I want to be with him. Then he does something stupid. Then I hate myself for liking him. Then I miss him. You guys having a lady talk? Well, <laughs> don't leave me out. Go ahead, tell him. Things can't get any worse. Look, Velma, you're complicating things. Why have a separate relationship with Shaggy when the five of us already have this awesome relationship? Just try and relax. Talking to the wrong person. My test indicates the goo is a jellyfish toxin. Jellyfish toxin? Precisely. <laughs> Like now's our chance, Scooby Doo. While the rest of the gang is off scary gnome hunting, the fair's delicious delights are all ours. <laughs> I never let pirates in when I ran things. You ran things into the ground, you silly tot. That's why I'm in charge. Yes, married the rich queen, didn't you? We gotta get out of here. Wait, look. Arr, 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 I'm a secret pirate. I'm a phony. A secret... He's a phony. That is something I didn't need to see. My brain is Why don't we sour. agree? Put <laughs> <laughs> the gang and save yourself, Scooby Doo! <laughs> oh, come on, Shaggy Stan. Oh, wait, he knocked himself out. Where's my Shaggy? Maybe you shouldn't have left him. <laughs> Like, let's not forget you have four canines. Or, like you, you can dig into that guy's arm or something. Hello, Mystery Incorporated. Begin your search at the end. Enjoy the rest of the fair. Let's block his number. How do you even get your number, Fred? Expressway up here. We could walk all around the park and never be seen. Looks like we've found Mr. Scary Gnome's private highway. What are we going to use for Scary Gnome bait? The one thing a Scary Gnome can't resist. Scooby Doo. A pirate. I know. You're the only one dressed up as a pirate, bro. <laughs> what you think was gonna happen? This guy is quick. God damn, bro, chill. Wait, he didn't. What? Okay, okay, Fred, that's what I want to see from you. The look on his face. So, damn. I figured if the toxin is passed by touch, let him touch some steel. Be gone from there, you miserable pirates. He's headed toward the entrance. <laughs> He messed up. Finally, after all those goddamn useless flips. Now let's see who you really are. The court fool. Huh? But guy's like 20 feet tall. That's my husband, Gil Littlefoot. What did you think you were doing, fool? 
What I've wanted to do for years. Take your fortune for my own. Damn. Oh, we the reason our family name is Littlefoot. So he was fake being tall? Provided me a way to make them useful. Okay, can we talk about all the flips, bro? You're like 50 years old. How, how is your back still intact? Her earring on a victim, hoping to throw suspicion her way. No one would have ever suspected me. That is until you, meddling, gnome-hating, pirate No Gnome hating yes, Whoa, 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 whoa. calm down. Boy, I had big plans for him. Thanks for nothing. Again. Anytime, Pop. They're gonna say boys. I so sympathize with what you're feeling. But seriously, trust your heart. Mm. Hey, dude, watch it. Bro, I s huh? Is that Mr. E? Don't give up. This has all happened before. What has happened before? I think Mr. E's literally just the Riddler, bro. <laughs> well, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> it meant something to Velma. Didn't help me at all. I'm more confused. What do you... This all happened before. We get it. They were a past mystery gang or whatever. What does that have to do with anything? Why was the bird circle? It was that mystery because that guy was walking in the whole episode just around. And then it would also make sense on how he knew what was going on if he, he had to be there. So I, I think like a mystery. The gnome guy, completely jester. Nope. I, he was the furthest away as person I was thinking. Obviously, the, the legs tricked me. Also, his age tricked me. Let's be honest here. No, no man. Doing flips like that, jumping 20 miles in the air, summer stuff. Like, bro, you have to be in your early 20s. You have to be, bro. Or, like, at least killed in that aspect. I, know, I don't know his background, but unless he's a gymnastics pro Olympian, I don't see how he's thinking about that. Come on, man. That's just crazy. And it's just to steal his wife's fortune. And you couldn't think of a better way than framing her for this? How would this get her locked up? She could just probably pay the bail for this. You're not hurting him, like, physically. I mean, technically, yeah, he is hurting him. But, like, they're not... No everlasting pain or something like that so your plan was just flawed from beginning to end uh yep i know people are gonna say pirate hater it's not i'm not a pirate hater i just don't see the the fascination with pirates i respect pirates you know like one piece you know i like it now whatever just as pirate you would catch me dead as a pirate nope i'd rather be a ninja a samurai a superhero a, a, a villain a <laughs> anything else Honestly, a knight, a royal knight. Uh, come on, bro. You tell me you wouldn't want to go go as a king. Stop playing with me. Oh, no, bro. I want to go as a bum. As simple as that. Velma again going through her struggles, dating Shaggy, and she just explained love there. <laughs> I'm mad at him, but then I I miss him. I love him, but then I'm mad at him again. After I love this, you, it's up and down. If it's just stagnant, it's a flat heart life. It's dying. It's dead. So, you know, it is what it is. I do admit though, Shaggy's kind of a more of an oddball because, you know, he's ride or die with Scooby. So you're not just dating Shaggy, you're dating Scooby too. So it's a, it's a whole mess, honestly. And Fred went right back to what he was before last episode. D this man showed Daphne no emotion. So what was the whole point, bro? They just wanted to drop a banger. That, I 100% sure that's what they wanted to do. I got this. This song's gonna be heat. Let's just do this. And let's get out. Like, come on, bro. Man, but uh, great episode. Not gonna lie. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate catching you guys inside for another video. Peace, peace. Bye bye.